So, Rob, we have a very big deal today involving companies that make very small things. Semiconductor manufacturers, NXP and Freescale are getting together. It's a $17 billion enterprise value, so a big deal. Let's start with the basics. What exactly do these two companies do? NXP was the semiconductor manufacturing division of Philips, the European electronics manufacturer, whereas Freescale was the semiconductor manufacturing division of Motorola, the U.S. cell phone company. And they've gone on to have a life of their own as businesses making uh, sort of industrial semiconductors. So if you want to kind of hype up the valuation of these companies, you might use a lot of talk about Internet of Things. If you wanted to just plainly describe what they do, they make the chip that controls your, the computer in your car or in your washing machine, say. So let's describe them as, as companies that make chips for your washing machines or cars, right. for basic business. Mm. Is it a good time for these two to be getting together? Does the deal make sense? Well, a little bit of history is very helpful here. So both of these companies were bought out by private equity firms in 2006. And they were bought out at high valuations out of, after kind of furious bidding processes. And what those private equity firms soon found out was that they had purchased at high valuations uh, companies that were highly cyclical at the top of the cycle. And this sort of ended in tears, or not even sort of, it absolutely ended in tears as the cycle turned, profitability went down, suddenly you have massive leverage, which of course doesn't go down with the fall in the cycle and these private equity companies have had a hard time digging themselves out. In this case, however, we have a deal where no premium has been paid, although the equity of the target has rallied a little bit in a recent month. Uh, a lot of the deal has been done with stock rather than cash, so the resulting debt burden is a little lighter. And the multiple being paid, the valuation, while it's not cheap by any means, is a lot more reasonable. So we're in a position where the deal could make a lot more sense than the last time these companies got bought. But finally, is there, is there any cost savings out of this, something the companies can control? So they're aiming for $500 million in savings in the combined operating expenses of the two companies, and that's significant. If you, put, if you sort of tax and capitalize that, that probably has a value of 4 or $5 billion. That's pretty significant next to the deal size of 17, 16, $17 billion. The real question, though, the hard question, is where we are in the economic cycle. These valuations, this valuation that's being paid for Freescale is going to look quite good if it turns out we're in sort of the middle of an ongoing recovery. If we're in a Fed-inspired peak that will soon turn over, then all of a sudden the valuation's going to look higher, the debt's going to be harder to bear. Now, if you or I could predict where we were in the economic cycle, we wouldn't be sitting here shooting this video. We'd be sitting in the south of France drinking Chateau Le Chateau. So it's very hard to say, but in any deal involving cyclical companies, investors have to have a think about where the economy is. Well, I guess the managers will be hoping that they too will be sitting in the south of France drinking Chateau Le Chateau. Rob, thanks very much. Thank you.